interested, no, I'm not listening, no, I'm indifferent. Truly, I ain't got no business here, but since my friends are here, I just Alessia Carr is on a tear. Her first single is called Here, and it has more than 24 million views on YouTube. It hit number one on the Billboard R&B chart. Her debut album is called Know It All. Alessia joins us from Los Angeles. Good early morning to you. Hi, thank you. <laughs> well, congr you, too. you know, congratulations on all of this. You've been on such a ride. How are you coping with all of this? Um, it's definitely been an adjustment. I think I have to really figure out how to deal with it, but I th it's awesome. I mean, it's what I've always wanted to do, so it's, it's a whirlwind, but it's fun. It is whirlwind, but from what I understand, you've always been a singer, singing from a young age around the house all the time? Yeah, it was always something that I loved to do. I mean, I wasn't always good at it, but I always liked to do it. And then what, what, when did you decide you know, to start doing some covers, posting them to YouTube, and then getting the reaction from that? Um, I started when I was 13, actually, but I didn't really get a reaction until I turned around 16. So I've been posting videos for a while before things started to, I guess, take off a little bit. Um, and then when I was 16, I got discovered by my production company, and that's how everything kind of started. That's such an incredible voice. And let me ask you about the, you know, here, and if it's really about going to a party and not having a good time. Yeah, it's a true story. It's, it's based on a true story. I went to this party two years ago that I felt really uncomfortable at and decided to make a song about it and so I did. You know what the ironic thing probably is is being played at a lot of parties these days? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. I've heard it being played at parties. It's really funny. <laughs> what was it like for you? Be, I mean, w meeting Taylor Swift and then being asked to come and sing with her, that must have been huge. Yeah, that was huge. She's like the nicest person ever and like that was obviously the biggest crowd I'd ever done. It was 55,000 people and they all knew the song, they were singing and that was really surprising for me because I didn't expect anyone to really know the song and they did and they were so supportive. It was great. It was awesome. When did you realize through, you know, through this journey anyway that wow, you know, this is really taking off. You've got this huge career now, fans all over the place. When did it kind of hit you that this is all happening? You know what, to be honest, I, I feel like it still hasn't hit me yet. You know, there's just days where I just float by and I, I don't even realize what's happening. And so I think one day it's just going to hit me out of nowhere and I'll, I'll just like, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> uh, tell me about your family and how they have responded to all of this attention. They're, I think we're all just like, just as shocked. I think we're just really all trying to figure it out. I mean, I'm from Brampton, Ontario, Canada. So, I mean, it's, it, you know, it's not a lot of people are famous from there. It's not a big capital of, you know, singers and things like that. So we're all just trying to figure out how this happened, and, but we're all excited and happy. What does your brother think of all this? Because I understand he was even asked for an autograph. He was. It was so weird. People, we were at the AMAs yesterday and people were asking him to take pictures. It was so weird that people recognized him. It's, it's crazy how, you know, when someone is, I guess, somewhat in the public eye, people around them just become in the public eye as well and people just recognize them. So fans of me know who he is and it's, it's funny to me. <laughs> well, it's just, it's great for us to be able to boast a little bit another amazing Canadian singer. Thanks so much for being on the show. Oh, thank you.